in the previous session which we had discussed about of the accounts receivables. Now, that means in the receivables which we have done the invoices. That means whatever we made a purchase to the oh, sorry, we made a sale to the customer. That's we have said. Just that's we have seen in the first session. So, in this session, what I am going to discuss is if that customer is paying that amount, not a problem for us. But whenever the customer is not paying for us, if the customer is not ready to pay for us, then what we have to do? Or else they are regularly not making the payments. In this situation, what we have to do is so that was a concept which we are calling as an A dummy. Basically, the dunning is in a word which means of an A payment reminder notice. Dunning means it is in a German word which means of an A payment reminder notice. Whenever the customer fall back on his payments, what we are doing that we are giving the reminder notice to them. So in that situation, whenever we are sending that reminder situation, reminders to the customers, if there wasn't a multiple of the customers will be there. And as well as I want to send the notices to them for a multiple of the times also. Not only the one time. I want to send them multiple of repeated times. In this situation, instead of preparing for each and every one and for each and every notice separate separately, we are creating all those settings into one program. That's what we are calling as an dunning program. So here also, first of all, I'm preparing one dunning program, one dunning program. For that, here, first which we have to go for the maintain dunning area. Maintain dunning area. So what was an a dunning area in the sense of the dunning area is nothing but like in a company for itself. So here, SPR room. SAP Defense IMG and then financial accounting from here financial accounting accounts receivables and payables and from there business transaction dunning basic settings for them basic settings for them and from there onwards, define dunning areas. What would be our dunning area? And what is the dunning area for our company? That's what here we have to do. So here, I am proposing that select new entries. And my dunning area will be the HLL1 and say. That means my company code was being my dunning area and then save it. My company code was being as an A, dunning area of mine and then save it. And after completion of this dunning area, after completion of this dunning area, I need to create the dunning program for here. Dunning procedure and then define dunning procedure. And that define dunning procedure. And see here, first thing, select new procedure. So first of all, what I want to do that, I need to create a new procedure. So for that purpose, we want to go for the new entries or a new procedure. Whenever I am going to the new procedure, whenever I am entering the new procedure, it asks me that what is the procedure name which you want. So, here I am taking as the same as my company code or anything else which we want. And here I am simply saying that dunning procedure for company code HLL1. The dunning procedure for company code P HLL1. That's what I am going to prepare now. And again, dunning interval in days, as which we discussed in the previous week. We can send a multiple of notices from the to the customers. So in that situation, each and every dunning notice has to send to the 
customers in a multiple of brands, but within the how many days of the gap you want to send that one. If it is for after completion of the 10 days, or for every 10 days, or for every 7 days, or for every 5 days, as needed. As like that, turning interval in days. Within the how many of the days you people want to send the notice for the customers. So here I'm taking as an attendance. That means I want to send the notices for the customers on or for each and every 10 days. As like as for each and every 10 days you want to send the notice. As like that, how many notices you want to send for the customer? How many of the notices you want to send the customers for each and every 10 days? So I am saying here I want totally five different notices. The maximum notices we can send up to nine notices. Maximum we can send up to the nine notices. But here I am giving that something five notices. That means I am in require the five notices here in front of me. So as like that, again standard transaction for them. So for this, whenever we are working, I need to do the standard transactions for the returning. And then, a reference running procedure for the text. Here, we should give the, our company code. So, the first one, when we are going to the new procedure, we need to give the what is the procedure name, and as well as what is the description of the procedure, under the procedure, how many of the levels you require, and each and every level, how much of the days you want to make the gap in between the each and every level. And next, go for running levels. When I am going to the running levels, it will be showing for you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 levels. And in between of these of the 5 levels, in between of these of the 5 levels, each and every level will become within the 10 10 days gap okay, within the 10 10 days gap you can have the multiple of the notices and even if i can give here as the nine notices the maximum notices which i am using and the running levels we will be showing the nine levels that means here how much of the levels we have taken that much of the levels we will be chosen so here it was in a totally five levels which you are asking about. That will be fine. But is this five levels of the notices? Is the five levels of the notices will be generating or when generating on which level notices you want to calculate the interest? So here I am saying that when I am running this notice or dunning program for the third or the fourth for the fourth and the fifth level notices I want to apply the interest for the fourth and fifth level of the notices I want to apply the interest that's what I said here that's what I said here and then go for charges when we are sending these notices when we are sending these notices those notices for the customers for the customers is there any charges is there any charges will be applicable for those or not even if you can say that yes some charges will be applicable so can we say that how much of the charges will be applicable for that? so if you're accepting that i want to apply some charges how much of the charges it was and in which currency by this currency by this currency I want to apply the charges in the first notice when sending of the first notice sending of the first notice if the minimum amount due from the customer side it was in a thousand rupees is there may not only the thousand maybe more than also but if the minimum amount is thousand what I am saying that I need to apply the hundred rupees of the charge and even in the second level, if it is a thousand rupees, I need to apply that to fifty rupees of the charges. 
and even third level also. For each and every level, we are applying some charges for this one. And the fourth level, I was going to find it. And the fifth level, when you are with the level, it was on a 780. These are the charges which I need to apply when running of a dynamic. Simply we can say that it is a service charges. And after completion of that, go for the minimum loan. Minimum loan by Yila Ayana. In the first notice, if the minimum amount is 1000 rupees, no more interest has to be applicable. That's why we have activated the we have activated the interest indicator. We have activated the interest indicator for the fourth and the fifth levels only, not for the second, the third, and even the first level. That's why I'm not here in the second level. In the third level, in the fourth level, five percent. In the fifth level, in the fifth level, if it is in a thousand rupees, I want to apply the ten percent charges. So, the charges instead of the normal service charges. I want to apply these of the interest, these of the interest for those of the levels when I'm running the, when I'm giving the notices for them. So here, after giving up this one, go for the Dunning text. So for which company code you want to apply this? Means from which company code you want to apply this in the sense of? From my company code, I want to apply this. And that was in a my company code is HLL1 and enter HLL1 and enter and go for new company code in the HLL company code, Dunning by Dunning area and separate notice for each and every Dunning. The Dunning has to be run by the Dunning area and as well as I need to run E for each and every Dunning can have a separate separate notices means for each and every level it should be having the separate Dunning levels and the notices and then save it and then save it And then save it. Now everything has been finished. Again go for the running text. So already we have given the running text also. Then why should we have to give another time the running text here? Why should we have to give the another time here the running text in the sense of this running text which will be applicable for the what are the output notices or else we can say that how the output notice has to be has to be shown in when we are taking as in a printout of this dunning or when we are sending the printout of a dunning how it has to be shown how it has to be shown so that's what we are giving here as an in dunning forms dunning form in the sense of how the output will be comes for that then so enter the first notice here and this dunning notices can be prepared by the abappers abappers which we are calling in the form of smart forms smart forms is to design the output layouts whenever i'm giving the first notice the notice which I am going to require F150 underscore DU and underscore 01. What do you mean by the running notice of this 01? Means the running notice of this 01 indicates that without of the interest. 01 of the running notice is without of the interest. And as well as in the second level also, in the second level also, 
in the second level also. I don't want to apply the interest. That means zero one. And in the third level also, I don't want to apply the interest. Zero one. And in the fourth level, I want to apply the interest zero two. In the fifth level also, I need to apply the interest because I have one to pay the full the year in the full zero two. Zero two. And as well as and as well as here, whenever the customer has been failed failed to make up making up these payments at the last in the last situation, what I'm doing that. <coughs> <coughs> In the final situation, <coughs> I'm generating one legal dining notice that was an F1 PMS called the unit is called zero. Zero three is for the legal dining notice. The first one will be the without interest, and the second one will be the uh, with interest, and at last the final one will be the legal notice. And then come back. Say now, what I have done that I am going to apply the dunning for my customers. Dunning for my customers. So, for that purpose, for that purpose, I am I have created one dunning procedure, and I am going to assign the dunning procedure for my customer masters. So. Is there any? Is I am having if I am having only one customer master, or else if I am having a multiple of the customer masters, not only the one. There was a multiple of the customer masters will be there. There should be a multiple of the customer masters will be there. So what I have to do? That means if I am having the multiple of the customer master, I can assign this dunning procedure to a multiple of the customer master. Not only the one. Even if in a multiple of the customer masters, also I can apply. It. I can apply for all of the customer masters with the same dynamic procedure. It is not a required to create the separate, separate notice, separate, separate procedure for each and every customer. So, after creating of this procedure, whatever the customer which we have created, I want to change the customer using the accounting, financial accounting. Receivable master record change. I'm changing the customer master from here. And in which company's customer master you want to change? By the company called the channel one. And for the customer of for which customer we want to apply this? For which customer we want to apply this? So for the customer of Something like for the instances for the customer of so and so in the company for of so and so for the customer of this, I want to apply this then. I want to apply this then. I want to apply this then. For that, yeah. Go for the company for data. Go for the company for data, and from that company for data, from that company for data, again go for the correspondent. Go for the correspondent, mm -hmm. and in this correspondence, if you can see what is the value. The value is this. This channel. First of all, I have created one dynamic procedure, and after that, the main that dynamic procedure which I am going to assign to my customer masters, and even one dynamic procedure can be assigned to you, and number of the customer masters also possible. That's why only we are creating this then. So one dynamic procedure can be assigned to you multiple of the customer masters. 
So as like that, here I have assigned for one of my customer master of this dining person. I have assigned that to one of my customer master. One of my customer master. One of my customer master. And save it. Now let us check that. If this customer, if this, this customer is having any opening balances with us, that means is that customer is has to pay, pay anything for us, if that customer has to pay anything for us, then only it has to send the notice for that customer. Then only it has to send the notice for that particular customer. So for that purpose, for that purpose, I'm checking. Is there any balance is there from the customer or not? That means is there any balance which the customer has to pay for us or not? So I want to check for that. Let us see. From here, account for payable. Account is for change line item. And the company put up the HL1. And the company put up the HL1. And the company put up the HL1. And for the customer of so and so. For the customer of so and so. And then select all items. Select all items. And now check it out. Execute. Then the customer is having some of the balances with us has to pay for us. Now, I can run the dunning for this customer. I want to run the dunning for that customer from here. Accounting, financial accounting, accounts receivables, and then environment, periodic processing, and this was the dunning value. Dunning F150. F150 is for to, to run the dun. Whatever the dunning which we have added, that's what I want to make it run for that particular customer. That's why I'm going to the dunning. And when I want to the dunning, here it is asking that on which date you people want to run the dam and which date you people want to run the stunning for that particular customer run the dunning for the particular customer so here here I am giving the present date so I want to run the dunning for this customer on today's date on today's date is the name 06052016 and whatever we are going to run now and whatever we are running now just give any name for that identification of the run so as our wish we can take anything for the identification only of the for the running run so here I am giving as a name here I'm giving as in something you know A B C D. So which I have given as in on this date A B C D. And now if you can observe here, it will be showing that no parameters have been entered. There was no parameters have been entered. But what I want to say that the system will be saying that nothing or no but nothing of the parameters will be there for this dunning please make sure the settings of the or the something parameters of the dunning then I am using the parameter I am using the parameter here so when I am clicking of this parameter when I am clicking of this parameter asking that 
what would be your dunning date dunning date is nothing but like you know what was the name what was the name dunning run date was the name dunning run date is called as a dunning date it's called as a dunning date so here i am giving that the dunning date will be the 06 05 and 2003 2006 and documents posted up to the things up to how much of the days you want to make the dunning uh, say for example i want to check the documents the posted up to the end of the month that means i am taking the 10 days of the credit limit for example that means from the today's date on what to previous of the Then this I want to check. So as like that here I am giving here as an end uh, up to the zero three zero five two thousand sixteen. That means I am giving only the three days of the credit limit. And before the three days, whatever the opening items will be there from the customer. For those of the items, it has to be done. And what would be the company code? HLL one. And For which customer you want to apply for this? So I want to apply this for the customer of OB Agencies, and now save it, and now let us check it out. Status. See, it was showing that parameters were maintained. In before of that, it has been shown that parameters was not maintained, and now it will be showing as an a parameters was maintained. And now click on the schedule. Means when you want to run this schedule, and when you are clicking on the schedule, it asking about of the what would be the output device. The output device is nothing but like an a uh, which mode you want to make the output of this one, either by the fax or a telex or a printer or what it was. What is the name of the data set? So here I am giving the output device for this one is an a. LP01. The printer name which I have already added for my SAP system, and then continue. Select start immediately. I want to run it now. Schedule. See, it was showing that running selection is running. But whenever I am pressing enter a multiple of the times, automatically it will be showing me the name. Running selection was completed. So that. What I want to maintain here is an a. It has to be shown the message of the dunning selection has been completed. And now go for the dunning printout. And when I am going to the dunning printout, it is asking me about again the output device. Here I am giving the LP01. Enter and start immediately. And then print. See, dunning printout is running. And if I am pressing the enter for multiple times, it will be showing that dunning printout is complete. And now, if I can use the sample printout by using the LP01 on the date for this customer, or else if the customer for the more also, it will be the customer number from one to. Else, if the customer is only one, you can for the customer of four agencies. I am not having the printer. That's why I am going for the print. See, this is the first running notice, and here it was saying that to dear sir and madam, up to dear customer, to dear sir and madam, the invoice is listed below due for the payment, and these are the invoices will be there. Total will be the one lakh fifty thousand, but including, but including with the running charges, you need to pay the one lakh. Fifty thousand rupees of one hundred. Why? Because it was in a first notice. For the first notice, we have given that as in a hundred rupees of the service charges. And even if I can run after the ten days, let's take as in a some seventeen top zero five. What will be happens? Running day is in a seventeen zero five two thousand. And the documents posted up to here for the company for option one zone and for the customer option one zone, and then save it. 
okay, maintain parameter because maintain already schedule LK01 on the rate of 1705. 1705 start immediately. You just press complete. And now go for the printout in the LK01. It was on a 17 printed. It was completed. Now go for sample printout by using the LP01 on 1705 for the customer of so and so. Let's check it on a print. Now it will be showing the second dimension. Why? Because after completion of the first running, which we said that. After that, whenever we are running, after the end this, it has to be shown as a second dimension. So, first bearing notice has been done on 06052016 and the second bearing notice has been done on something date of so and so. And even if you can observe the things here, and even if you can observe here, it will be shows that the running charges will be the two. Why? Because for the first level of the running, which we have given that 100 rupees of the running charges will be there. And for the second level of the learning notice, which we have given that charges has to be applicable of 250 bucks. That's why here it will be shown as in 250. Even if you can run the third level and the fourth level and the fifth level also, I'll get it automatically it will be applicable the charges from the fourth and fifth level there. It will be automatically applicable the interest charge. Automatically applicable the interest also in that or for that particular question. This is what we can call as a dummy. So what is the main purpose of the dummy is? The dummy is in a German word which means of the payment reminder notice. And whenever the customer fall back on his payment, we need to send in a notice to the customers. But whenever one company having a lot of the customers, instead of preparing an individual notice for each and every customer, we can make a number of a number of for the uh, for a number of customers in a single program which is called as a done. Okay, so is it clear Mr. Vashnui? Yes. So this is what the done. And the next concept as which you are asked today Mr. Sirena, shall we go for the some more time on today? So shall I go for the next concept also? Yes sir. So the next concept itself here which we are calling as an taxes. See. Oh, there is a separate taxes for payables as TDS and the separate taxes for receivables. No, no, no. Actually, this was a, what we have done already. That was in a TDS. Okay. That was for only for the services. Oh, okay. But whenever we have done the sales and purchases instead of the services, whenever we have made the purchase of the uh, product or else whenever we have made the sale of the product, whenever we are making the sale of the product, we need to apply or we need to receive some of the taxes. That's why the concept itself which we are calling as a name, tax on sales and purchases. And or other words which we can call it as an SIN also. C I N. What exactly by the C I N in the sense of country India version. Country India version. So what is the 